Hi, I'm Julie Creffield from the Fat Girl's Guide to Running and in today's question we're asking, what is parkrun and should I be doing it? Now, disclaimer, I love parkrun. I've been doing parkrun since 2008, I think, was my first one. I went along with a friend of mine who wasn't actually a runner. I'd met her on a boot camp and she lived in Wimbledon and I think... Um, she, I didn't even know what parkrun was, she invited me along, I went along, I thought it was brilliant um, and then I had like a couple of years where I didn't do it and then one um, popped up close to where I live and I've been a parkrun fan ever since. Actually I'm quite lucky in London um, where I'm based there's probably three which are all kind of equal distance to me so I often, um, you know, alternate. So what is parkrun? Parkrun is basically a weekly free timed 5k run so it's not a race it's a run and it was founded by a guy called Paul Sinton Hewitt in 2004 I think and his idea was to have something where you register once and you can go along to any event anywhere in the world um, and take part um, and so far there are let me just check my notes 1179 events across the world in, in 14 countries um, and one of the fun things about um, being a parkrunner is you can be a parkrun tourist. So often, uh, wherever I am going, if I'm around on a Saturday somewhere else in the country, I'll have a look to see if I can do the local parkrun. So I've probably done about 10 different events. Um, my most exciting one in April this year, I was speaking at an event in Cape Town in South Africa, and I realized about a 20 minute cab ride away was a local park run. So I went along to uh, Greenpoint Park Run and uh, it was gloriously hot. It started a lot earlier in the morning there um, to avoid the sun and I had a blast. Um, so yeah, I'm a massive, massive fan of park run. So what do you need to know if you're thinking about doing it? One of the things I'd say, it's a very, very inclusive event. So you will get really, really fast runners there, but you'll also get people that are starting out on their journey and people that are kind of slower. Many park runs have walkers. Um, so um, yeah, so I guess the best thing to do is to go along and just do a little bit of a, a little bit of a recce, a little bit of a check. If you're nervous about going for the first time, maybe go along as a spectator. Or perhaps put yourself forward as a volunteer because all of the events are managed completely by volunteers just to kind of get a sense of it and to get to know who people are. The other thing I would suggest is to go along with some friends because um, sometimes you can turn up and feel like, oh, I don't know anybody and it can be a little bit intimidating. So perhaps get a group of you together and go along for the first time um, so that you're not on your, uh, not on your own. So what else do you need to know? Um, to do parkrun you have to register so you go along to the website which if I remember rightly is www.parkrun.co.uk or, or .com if you're elsewhere in the world uh, and there's normally a link to the country that you're in. You need to register, put all your details and you will get the infamous parkrun barcode. <laughs> parkrun barcode um, which you need to print out um, and you need to take that along with you. So take it along with you, put it somewhere safe because you don't actually need it until the end of the race. So you turn up at Park Run, there'll be people loitering in the car park and hanging around and chatting and stuff like that. And then there'll be a few people in kind of high-vis jackets and at some point there'll be a briefing. So um, there'll be somebody on a, a loudspeaker probably saying, do we have any new uh, people to this Park Run? And they'll be all welcomed over and the course will be explained. So it's really useful um, whenever you're a new Park Run or somewhere to go along to the briefing. Then everybody will line up, there'll be some announcements, some little rounds of applause for different things that have happened during the week and then there'll be a horn or a whistle and you'll go and you'll run your 5k. Now um, different park runs that I've done have been different, some are laps, some are um, out and back, um, each one is very very different and um, there's also different terrains so one of the ones that I love is Wanstead Park Run near me but it's Bit, it's a bit cross country so in the winter it can get muddy and icy and stuff like that and I don't like it so much and I'm much more likely to be found at say Mile End which is all on tarmac although very hilly or Hackney which is um, again mainly on tarmac and is an out and back route so um, have a look at the ones that are close to you and have a think about how the terrain might um, impact on kind of your enjoyment. 
So you'll do your 5K, you will not come last, okay? It's impossible to come last as, uh, at Parkrun because Parkrun have what they call tail runners. So the tail runner is a volunteer and their primary job is to come in last. Um, and they will make sure that the, the back runners are okay and that they're safe. Um, and if you need a bit of support along the route, they'll happily be there chatting along, or hopefully they'll leave you alone if that's also what you want. And um, so you don't need to worry about being last. When you do get to the finish, area there's normally kind of a funnel and it'll be manned by volunteers and as you go past the finish line you'll be given a token now this here comes the interesting bit you need to take that token and your your barcode which you've probably shoved in a pocket somewhere to the people who are collecting um, tokens and, and barcodes and they will scan them so they'll scan them with a little bleeper thing and that's it that's all you have to do then once you get home if you've set it up um, in registration you'll either get a text message or an email or both which will give you your time so it's just like magic you'll get your time and what's great about parkrun is when once you've been going for a few months you can start to compare your times and you can see how you're improving and you can even compare yourself to other runners which sometimes you want to do sometimes you don't want to be in the last 10 um, but being in the last 10 is also okay so i'm a massive fan of parkrun i think if you can if you've got one close to you it's definitely worth a shot the other thing to mention is in some areas there's something called junior parkrun which is for children aged four to 14 maybe, um, which tends to happen on a Sunday. I've taken my daughter, um, funny, funny story here. So she, my daughter's four, you have to be four to start. So she'd been hounding me for a while. I took her along a couple of weeks after her fourth birthday. She was very, very excited. She did the warm up. she had her barcode. Um, and after about five minutes, probably not even five minutes, probably about 50 seconds, she turned to me and she said, mummy, I don't like running, I like skipping. And that was the end of that. And we haven't been back since, but maybe we will when she's a little bit older. So check out Park Run. And for more information on things that I do with Two Factor Run, check out www.twofactorrun.co.uk. Tune in for some more Q&A. Ciao.